Thank you for joining. Start that over again. Thank you for joining us for the next segment of Psychotronic Coast to Coast Halloween Horror uh, uh, Harangue. I was trying to find a word. I don't know. Uh, uh, horror Hoedown. There we go. Welcome to Psychotronic Second. Psychotronic. I'll be able to talk in a full sentence momentarily. Rebooting. Welcome back to Psychotronic Coast and Coast second segment of our Horror Hoedown. Tonight we watched Jacko. As featured in this new, newly released and probably already out of print uh, DVD by Retromedia called Jacko and Friends. And yes, we will be watching Biohazard 2 and Dark Universe in the future. But not anytime soon, kids. So uh, this was uh, this was all uh, uh, Owen's doing. So, uh, yep. Owen, why don't you take it away? Not like that's ever a reason for you to start doing this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see how much I can remember, considering I kind of tuned out halfway through. <laughs> it's always a good sign. I fell asleep at some point. <laughs> I we my I I take uh, for those listeners at home in the future people may not know uh, I'm I'm a medical marijuana and sometimes the dosage is not exact and and God when I overdose it just makes me fall asleep. So yeah. I don't remember that. I remember you would sing everything I said for some reason. That was at the very beginning. That was just me being silly. <laughs> But the movie starts a uh, creepy, fat, mustache gentleman telling a, a spooky story of Jacko to a kid. And then you get a flashback of uh, Jacko being killed and put in a grave, if I remember right. Yep. And it comes back to modern times. Uh, you have the nerdy kid from the beginning kind of a bully kid and this girl kind of walking home from school. They see a girl who they claim is a witch. A bully kid decides to throw rocks at it, which is probably the worst throw of rocks I've ever seen. He he throws worse than uh, those he wishes to offend. Yeah. But they were like maybe 10 feet away and the rocks just kind of... Couldn't throw them across the street. Fall. Across the street. The car was parked, wasn't moving. <laughs> it was only across a two-way street. A residential two-way street. It wasn't that far. <laughs> it was clearly like the cameraman just underhand tossing him at the car tire. Yes. And and on top of it, the person who was in the car clearly saw everything that was happening and just looked on annoyedly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but a nerdy kid who's like the main kid in the movie, he uh, stops the, the asshole kid from throwing more rocks. A girl comes over. The other two run away. She thinks him, wants to give him a ride. He says he can't take a ride from strangers. And then she says, I'll walk you home. And apparently that's okay. And, uh, she brings him home. There's the dad setting up his spook house, as he called it. It was just a haunted house in his garage for Halloween. It's a haunted garage. They even called it a haunted garage in the movie. <laughs> yeah, spook, spook house was mentioned multiple times. Yeah. And uh, she's invited to help with the haunted house slash come to dinner. And she agrees, but then leaves instead of going to dinner. Well, you know. <laughs> I, I don't know what, where I was going with that, but well, you know. <laughs> this movie is... Uh, okay, so it's shot on film, but... It's mastered on video because a lot of the special effects, the digital, quote unquote, digital effects for 1995, are clearly standard definition quality. So, yeah, beginning and end of this movie are laughable at best. Quote when you come to the graphics quality. What happened next? This is where it gets a little muddled. I know the kid walks in a house, and it just looks like he's walking out of a house into a field. But apparently it's a dream. He has several dreams where he sees like this, uh, his parents being trapped in a four field bubble by an old man who claims he's like the gatekeeper of hell or something. Oh yeah, like that. I remember that part. That was so weird. 
the gatekeeper of hell? I'm so confused, guy. Uh, apparently he's keeps dreaming it. So apparently he must have walked in the house and immediately just passed out. <laughs> it's the only logical sense to that. Uh, I can't remember There's exactly no logical what sense happens. Because at least four doors are left open. <laughs> One person leaves her house and leaves the door open. Another person walks back into their house and leaves the door open. And then I, I swear at least two other doors were left open at some point. Like, I remember going, hey, someone left the door open again. And I don't remember if it's Halloween night or the night before, but there's a... I, I don't know if they were supposed to be in their 20s. They look like they were 30-something. <laughs> there's a girl and two guys. They're out drinking. They decide to go to this old Kelly, which is the family's last name, the kid and the mom dad. Uh, an old farmstead where there's supposed to be a graveyard. It gets even more confusing because they're like, oh, they must have moved the bodies when they built all these houses. Yet they're in the middle of the woods. There's no houses anymore. There's no reason to move these bodies. But, uh, so they're drinking, yeah. wandering around, trying to find in this family cemetery. They find some gravestones. That is styrofoam, is no by the way. I'd like to point out, obviously fucking styrofoam. <laughs> like cheap, cheap Spirit Halloween style styrofoam, but customized. Yeah, and then there's a. They see a, cro a wooden cross. One guy wants to pull it out, but the other two stop him. So they just go out more drinking more. Then she makes out with one of them, even though she's been calling him an asshole all night, pretty much. You know, but then shallow he's... female characters written by men who don't know anything about women. <laughs> Nothing new. And then he immediately becomes an asshole again. Yep, because shallow characters <laughs> written by men who know nothing about men. No, that's a bit mean, and, but the same. Yeah. It, their buddy finds a scythe. Scythe? Wanders off. The scythe. The sickle. It was a hand sickle, actually. Yeah. I believe it's the sickle when it's handheld. No. Yeah, it's the sickle when it's handheld and the scythe when it's the full size? I don't remember. Something like, or it might be the vice versa, actually. I don't, I don't remember. Grim Reaper Blade. Yep. Handheld Grim Reaper Blade thingy. The thing that's from Unhinged. Which I also haven't seen, but I know the cover. <laughs> but this time he does pull it out, and uh, Jacko comes out. Dun dun dun. Jacko, who's actually pretty cool looking, considering the budget of this movie. And he kills them, which is kind of weird. He like It looks like he, like kills the, like slits the guy's throat with his hand hits the other guy in the face cuts his face up with his hand and then he slits her throat with his uh, sickle I think that's right <laughs> I don't know it's kind of weird I think it's implied that he cut all of them with the sickle but no I'm pretty sure the first two are with his hands because the guy had like claw marks across his face okay yeah so he did but I think she so I think no, maybe it is. I guess it is the hand. But why, why bother with the sickle if you've got fucking claws? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just... I don't know. But, yeah. So I'm not sure if that was earlier in the night or what, but now it's Halloween night. I'll just assume it's the night before. Sure. And there's, like, babysitters. Two of them. One of them well, bails the, to go One was, drinking. like, hired to be a babysitter, and the other one was supposed to tag along to keep her... A company but she bails by climbing out the fucking bathroom window you know that old <laughs> trick yeah and her boyfriend gets killed at some point uh, gets his head chopped off yep she goes hides in a yeah, ditch I hate that character <laughs> that guy is a douche too yeah cause like she takes her top off they're like seemingly out in the middle of the woods cause they drove for a while she takes her top off but she hears a noise which is apparently Jacko even though like a second later he's in the kid's bedroom like stomping on his picture and cutting his bed for some reason I, just so the sheet sure though when... not the bed just the sheet yeah. so I'm not Missing sure where, where they were because it Somehow, seemed to be all woods <laughs> I, I'm guessing they're on the on, like on the edge of a giant wood in a small town so that's kind of what I gathered a forest if you will yeah, it jumps around a lot here. There's like kids go to this house where there's like 
uh, the rich people who are snooty yell at him and then Jacko for some reason shows up and slits his throat and then the woman who best seen in the movie was the woman freaks out and she sees her dead husband runs in the house to pick up a knife slips on a carpet puts the knife in the, the toaster and electrocutes herself to death oh, and she also left the, the door open that was yes. the third door but that one actually stayed open because the kid runs into the house later yeah. and, the and left the door open, open I think also yeah, he did that. So I think uh, I think that was all for was that one door three times, but still ridiculous. No, when they went, uh, when the babysitter went, took the kids trick or treating, they left the door open, the door that sticks. Remember, just yeah, so oh, yeah. the camera could shoot out of it. <laughs> just so that they can make some fake suspense later in the movie. Yeah, because the door quote unquote sticks. <laughs> But yeah, so the babysitters take him out trick or treating. Parents are running their their spook house with the weird lady who just seems to be hanging around. At one point, she had a book and it had that guy's the Satan guy's picture in it, and the kids like he's in my dreams. And the dad just brushed it off, like yeah, he probably saw a picture of him somewhere. <laughs> just, what the fuck? <laughs> Seriously, bro. This fucking movie, man. Yeah. It's all right. It's I'm trying to remember the other stuff now. Because I know the ki- there's some kids go into the haunted house and Jacko grabs his hand. They run out. Just There's just kept intercutting stuff. Yeah. And they set up. The kid ended up getting like a punch trick-or-treating. He was all pissed off about that. <laughs> oh, and the, and the guy who's running the, the haunted house gets lost in his own haunted house and then knocks over a shelf. Yeah. But they kind of set up like you see like a shadow that's shaped like Jacko, and he's like, "What the hell is that?" And it's like a globe and a rake. Yep, just a globe and a rake just happened to be here at this exact orientation to make us think <laughs> it's Jacko. Yeah, but uh, since it's kind of so, do you think it was here. Jacko fucking with people to make people think that he was there? Or do you think it was just a pure coincidence that you're reeking in a, in a, in a uh, globe next to each other? And a light. Jacko was weird to begin with because, like, the kid runs into that house, stares at the dead woman who's all burnt and crispy, even though her clothes are fine. And he just stands there and looks at her. And then Jacko comes to the door and he just, like, hard stops. So I'm like, can he not enter the house? <laughs> he does some hand s- sign and then he just enters the house. What are you doing? Is that supposed to be creepy? I mean, it was a cool shot when he came to the door with, like, the mist behind him and stuff. But... That was it. That was the entire reason, because it made a cool shot. <laughs> but I was like, oh, he can't enter the house for some reason. But no, no, he can. They were like, oh, did, did he have to be invited or something? No. I did like the shot, too, where the kid was hiding by the couch, and the rich people, for some reason, had a mirror coffee table, probably to do coke on. Well, wouldn't you? But uh, he stands there, and you see like the reflection of him in the mirror, and then the kid hiding under it. But he runs. Hey, everybody needs a Coke mirror coffee table to do the <laughs> Coke off of, all right? Shit, can't get also, dusted properly without the proper utensils. Before that, uh, when Jacko first showed up to get the kid, he just like punches the babysitter in the face, goes after the kid, and just leaves her there. But you know, let's keep jumping ahead here. Uh, they kind of figure out that weird woman hanging out is up to something. And she's like, oh, the fifth generation of the Kellys is the only one that can kill Jacko. And they're like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's like, I knew he'd come back. She was basically using the kid as bait, even though she needs the kid to kill Jacko. So you think she would have stuck next to the kid the entire time, but no. She's like, eh, whatever. I just needed the kid to come here, but at the same time, I need the kid to kill Jacko, but I have no idea where the kid is. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I don't think she knew what the fuck she was doing. I don't think any of us know what the fuck we're doing. But uh, he runs through the door, if you remember. Door stuck. Ooh, they set that up. And you see blood shoot on the door. You got excited because you thought the kid was dead, but 
uh, for like a second, yeah. like, oh, that's cool. They killed the kid. I didn't expect that shit. And then, oh, no. He was just a fake blood that he was holding. Yeah. I know, she's like, it's, it's prop blood. I'm like, it was, a, it was a fucking juice box. Yeah, I think it was a juice container. I think he, it was one of those plastic ones with the resealable lids. So I think he just kept his fake blood in it. No, he got a trick or treating. He yeah. was all boned. It was Cause yeah, because it was a trick, not a treat. No, he got juice, and then the babysitter was like, "You can use that to wash down your candy." And he's like, eh, and "Threw it in the bag." And then they call the fake blood, huh? Yeah. I don't remember that first part. <laughs> it was clearly he just got a little little plastic container of juice, and he was all bummed because it wasn't candy. <laughs> and then later, for some reason, this fair, witch or whatever she was. I would have been happy. Fuck you get that. thirsty trick or treating. It's sugar, right? I mean, what do you need? Come on. What I need is some it's motherfucking like, candy. It's motherfucking it's Halloween, like, all right? It's not like they open the door and shit in his bag or something. Hey, that's a trick. That's allowed. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Jacko has the kid. Bring him to a grave, which is my favorite scene because of the kid's terrible acting. Oh my god. Like... Ryan Latshaw is the director's son <laughs> and he cannot act to save his fucking life. As evidenced by his unenthusiastic digging himself out of his grave later. <laughs> which we'll get to. But Jesus I just Christ. love it. Because uh, Jacko doesn't talk. He gets there. He doesn't even do anything. The kid Im- immediately like kneels down in front of him, which was kind of awkward. <laughs> And then Jacko just points at the grave and the kid just lays in it. And then he starts throwing dirt on him with yep. his uh, sickle. And the kid's like, don't. No, no. Don't. That's don't. That's all he said. That's all he said. No, don't. <laughs> but just the way he said it was hilarious. But then immediately after saying his shitty don't line, he just gets a face full of dirt. <laughs> which he clearly by his reaction did not care for. <sighs> this movie. <laughs> but the parents and uh, I'll just call her the witch show up and she's like, you know me, don't you? And like, it seems like it's going to be some big setup. And then she just get shanked in the stomach <laughs> and lifted in the air. With you, know, a, a you know why this was limited bummy. to 1,000 units? Because there's only 1,000 people that are interested in this fucking movie. <laughs> and I'm one of those <laughs> dumb fuckers. Though I bought the sex head Biohazard 2, actually. That's the reason why I bought this. He was like, oh, let's do Jacko. I was like, I just bought Jacko. That was perfect. <laughs> I'm okay with that. So. Yeah. So then the kid, who's clearly only got maybe a dusting of dirt on him, climbs out of three feet of dirt. As it's the, so, uh... like, it's face palm to the max, bro. <laughs> Jacko's punching his parents and uh, he yells something again on completely dead faced holding the cross and then the dad shoves Jacko on the cross and then he badly burst into flames I guess it was video edit <laughs> and then I guess that was a really bad dead. CGI early 90s so apparently he's dead and then there's more scenes for some reason, because that's not enough to end it on, where they're wandering through the neighborhood, and the babysitter, who apparently was still knocked out, wakes up. The other girl, who was boyfriend was dead, was hiding in a ditch, climbs out, and they all reunite with the kid. Hooray. Oh, man. We want to address the really creepy comments she made about her, the little kid being her boyfriend, and then, <laughs> like, what else did she say that tripped me out? Oh, Oh, uh, she shows up, and she's like, oh, there's my boyfriend, hugs the kid. And then uh, the dad clearly has the heart on for this girl. I don't blame something. him. She's very pretty. And then uh, she, she says something about his haunted house, and she's like, you know, oh, I'm just a kid. And she's like, I like young boys. Yes, that's exactly what it was. That's right. She said, <laughs> I like young boys. And I went, whoa, What? That is an then, awkward thing to say after saying to a young child, hey, there's my boyfriend. I thought the dad was going to blush and kick dirt. Like, oh, jeez. Like a little That's boy. That's about how it was set up. <laughs> oh, God. 
Thank Jesus that didn't happen. Yeah, yeah, it was like it was kind of weird because it was like constantly set up where like it never did anything. But I was like, is this dad just banging all these girls in the neighborhood? Because that's what it seems like. Well, I mean, like, he just know, happens that's... to have being his in his house with this girl. Like, hey, honey, this is this home. And the wife's like, eh, hey, whatever. Once again, <laughs> more power to him. If that's their thing. That's their thing, right? Who the fuck am I to judge? Weirdos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just they're just a uh, backstory that they're swingers that just never made it into the movie. Yeah, I just what the fuck. So, <laughs> what did you uh, think of? The, what did you think of the movie? Uh, it wasn't good, <laughs> but what were you expecting? Like, I mean, it's. I mean, it's. You chose obviously... trick or treats for the la- for previous segment. What were you <laughs> expecting with Jacko? I don't know. I mean, I liked it better than trick or treats. Yeah, definitely was, more entertaining than trick or treats. More entertaining. It was. It was that kind of good bad, where I was entertained. I feel but, man, like that kid was terrible. With a larger group of friends, this could have been like hilarious. <laughs> I want to sit yeah. and watch this with a bunch of comedians or something. You know, they they would rip this apart, and yeah, in a good I had, way. I had some funny jokes. Come on. Okay. <laughs> I don't deny my jokes. They're I, hilarious. I'm not denying anything. I'm just smiling, nod. Okay. No. <laughs> All right. So, did you have a favorite part? I like the grave. Yes. Because the kid's terrible acting. Oh, did I we like mention the... how Jacko dies? Yeah. He, it, the father just lets yeah. him fall on his son, unprotected. <laughs> I totally mentioned that. Yeah, yeah, just that's my favorite part. Cause probably just, the best the scene, and the overly long drawn out scene was the woman being electrocuted. Oh my god, that was great too. With like the hand drawn lightning. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't even coming from the toaster at like <laughs> at first it was. And then it cuts away, and it comes back, and it's coming yeah. out of the countertop instead. I felt like it was a couple minutes long. I it was being like shaking, and then like fading into the uh, fake skeleton burnt corpse of her, but still wearing the clean clothes. That's where like it cut, it cut away and came back, and that's when she was wearing the weird <laughs> like charred mask, charred face mask. Also, when they cut to Jacko, and he just he didn't shrug, but it, he pretty much just shrugged. Where he just kind of like was like, "What?" and just turned away. That would have been better if he just like, like shrug, like did a head tilt and then just shrugged. <laughs> nah, all right. Oh well. What is? Count it. Assist counts as kill. Yep, and I also like the part where they left all the doors open. <laughs> no matter how much danger they were in. I kind of like that they remembered they left the woman left the door open when the kid ran in but the other door open was just so he could camera could look out it yeah i know it's kind of like uh those weird uh reality shows i have to leave the door open for the camera people to walk through i wouldn't get used to that i would just keep closing the door on him yeah that'd be great <laughs> oh sorry <laughs> hold on come in son of a bitch all right that's uh my favorite part is the open doors and the, the father just being totally okay with the monster falling on his son. <laughs> yeah. I'd say if you've never seen it. it, to watch it. It's worth It'll... watching at least once. Yeah. I give it one thumb up. Your own butt. Whoop! There you go. So, uh, what are we watching for the next segment? It's either... I haven't decided yet. Well, you have to decide either... now. Cause Why do I have to decide now? I already we have, have to... both of them. Because we have to tell our audience so that they can be prepared for it. Well, they can be prepared for either. No. I'm going to say both. No. you got to choose one. No, not doing it. I'm going to let you pick one of the two. Then whatever one you say out first, that's what we're doing next. Okay. What if I say all of them in one title? <laughs> Fine. We'll do the midnight hour. A, midnight a TV hour. movie. Oh, lovely. 
a TV Where, movie. At one point, I think they break out in song. Oh, God. Okay. So, Midnight Hour next week. That sounds fun. Well, if you listen to this, it'll be right after this break, but, you know. Anyway, we'll see you after this, uh, after a while. And, uh, any last words, Owen? No, not really. Jacko. <laughs> Shit pickle. Shit pickle! Alright. Take it easy, guys. <laughs>